Hello and welcome to the Stamping Society's June Tutorial Bundle in which we are featuring projects created using the Stamping Up in Colours. I'm Angela Myritz reed of Stamping Beauty in Christchurch, New Zealand and today I'm sharing my tutorial for this shutter card. If you'd like to purchase the written tutorials for all our projects please click on my blog link where all the information is for the tutorials including the products and the measurements to create our projects. If you live in New Zealand and would like copies of the current catalogues please message me I'd love to send them to you. The shutter card works like this it's got this belly band around it and um, with the bow and I've done it so that you don't have to untie the bow just that all comes off together and then you open the card and See, it's like a shutter and you can see that the message is in there. All the uh, measurements are in the written tutorials and I've done them in both metric and imperial. To start I'm doing the base and I've got a piece of the starry sky cardstock here and I've scored it and you're scoring from both ends the same amount and then um, so score it and then give it a nice burnish with your bone folder so it's your normal size card front but it's just um, so that's your base and instead of that card flap coming from one side it's comes equally from both sides and next I've got some of the DSP here and I've just cut two pieces and they're just going to stick like that on the front so I've made them slightly smaller I'm just going to use some glue on both of those pieces Just adhere them to the front there. So they're just nice and evenly spaced from the edge. So easy. That's the front done. So now we're going to work on this here. So we've got a piece of cardstock here and this is this piece here and I've burnished it um, scored it at least sorry and then just burnish along um, from each end so what that's going to do is that's the piece that sits in here and it's going to have that attached and then die cut the circle so I'll go ahead so you can either make it um, can make it longer and fold it over or make it the same length so that's slightly longer so I will cut it off but I'll just adhere it there for now and then trim it off so just pop that on there And just trim that piece off there. And then this is the piece here with the circle. So you just want to pop, die cut your circle just wherever you want to have it. Um, where I've got mine sort of slightly more towards the top rather than the bottom. So just going to pop that on here and you can measure it. It is it's about one inch or about two and a half, just over two and a half centimeters from the 
on there. Yeah. Like there. And then just make sure it's equal distance from both sides as well. Just run it through your machine. Going. Doesn't want to go today. Um, actually, I'll just pop my that underneath so it just helps it stop slip. Just I'm not sure at all why that is not. Just give it a bit of a shunt here. Yes, it is quite thick with that extra layer in, so let's bear that in mind. Right. I think that was what was stopping it going through, but it's all good now. So you've got that piece there. So what we're going to do is just adhere the bottom, because then we can lift it off to make sure where we... Um, make sure for placing everything else so you can use a bit of tear and tape or the stamp and seal plus works really well just for instant um, adhering so you want it to be in the middle of the uh, measure it or just do a little bit of guessing so that's going to sit there and then this will eventually, when we've put everything else in place, sit there. The next thing we're going to do is the sentiment. So I've got the wishing you the best birthday ever and a piece of basic white cardstock and the Tahitian Tide. Oh no, actually, sorry, that's the wrong one. Not sure why that's sitting there. We need the I've used the Orchid Oasis stamp pad. So we just want that to be in the center, about the center of there. And then that is going to sit under there. So wherever you want that to go. And I probably haven't got that quite in the centre, so I might just trim it just a little bit. And I'll use a bit of glue because then I can move it around if I need to. Just make sure that it's straight and evenly spaced that's just um, adhered to the bottom there and then next we're going to do these pieces here now just pull that out so you can see it this is what it looks like there are two of those so that's why it's tricky to get those sort of want to ruin the card so going to pop those in first under here so we've got these two pieces here and what you're going to do is um, create a little flap again because that is going to stick to this panel here because then when it's stuck here on here when that opens that's the mechanism that pulls that back so we've got two pieces here I'll just burnish both of those and I'm going to glue that onto there so you can just decorate these whichever way you like Depending on what you're doing, you might want them plain. Don't have to be too particular with some of this because it's going to be underneath.
And then what you're going to need to do is create that V shape into there. So what I've done here is you find the centre of that piece and then you're going to cut into it. And I've cut into it about, that's four and a half centimetres, which is about almost two inches. And I, as I say, all the um, exact measurements will be in the tutorial. So you just want to cut down to where you can measure it, if that makes it easier. So you just need to do one. And I just cut down into the centre there and then just cut that off there. And the same here. Let's see. Let's go straight down to there. We've got that point. So for the next one, all you need to do is just pop that on top of there. Line that up and and if you're going to be making more than one of these it's quite a good idea to make a template and then you've makes it a little bit easier next time and you don't have to do all the measuring again And then you've got your two flaps. So then what you want to do is they're going to sit on here. So once again, pop the stamp and seal along the edge there. there. So this is probably the trickiest part. Is so you want to make sure it's lined up that you're going to get your sentiment when it pulls open and then at the same time it needs to stick to this outside edge so see just just gonna make sure it's just on the And then do the same with this one. So line it up like that. Butt it in there. And then bring that over. And it's going to open up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now that piece can be um, adhered at the top. So it'll be easy just to pop your when you've uh, created the flowers, easy just to pop those underneath in here. <coughs> so I think that one's underneath there. And then just fold that down there. So it's a very cool concept. Very simple, but interesting how it works. And now we're going to just decorate these. So I've got I thought it'd be nice to have all the end colours in the flowers. Just put all those in here. And my foam mat because I need a polymer. Um, some white cardstock and the die. If you didn't um, want to die cut them, you could easily just. Um, Um, you you know men fussy cut them and then you'll need a bit of scrap paper because we are going to stamp off for the inside so we'll start with um, make sure my stamps are clean they're very stained now so, this one this the outside edge is full strength and one we want to stamp off and that stamp it and then just need to find 
here as the right um, way around and then stamp them on there. So you've got your first one. And that again. And um, I'll go for this colour here. I'll just clean them off in between times. If you do start from light to dark, it does make it um, a little bit better. Um, um, stamp off again. It's interesting because it's sort of got that motley shape and a motley pattern in the in the stamp. It's cute, nice for a change. And actually, oh yeah, I'll do this one next. It doesn't really matter what order you do, as long as you get your stamps nice and clean in between times. They stain so much, so they don't look so pretty. It's one of those things. And this one. Lastly, and I'm going to do two of the sweet sorbet because I'm going to use one for the decoration on the outside. So, Let's test that, and I'm still get a colour on there. So I'll do two of those and that um, little piece. And then they all need die cutting. So I'll bring my mini machine in again. Just put that silicon mat, just helps it to stay hot. that does run through a lot easier when it's not so thick so if you didn't want to as I say you could fussy cut and I'll just show you how it's reasonably quick and easy you don't have the dies to go with the set So not too bad, doesn't take too long. I may as well do the others. Seeing as I do have the dies to make sure you put it upside down, it would help if I sometimes you can go around in circles, can't you? Trying to line it up.
Do you have a new favourite of the in colours? I love all the blues, so it's nice to have some extra choices. It's pretty easy to line up to get it up the right way. And one more. Rhinestones here too. I don't use to decorate it. Ready? So now for putting these flowers on. So I tucked that one. I put them on both this on this left hand side. So, so if you've got too many pieces, sometimes they can catch. So I felt like if I had done just on one side, um, it wouldn't catch too much potential for catching as less. So I'll just pop that one down there. And this one here. Up the top here. Move it down a little bit, just working out where the um oops actually that's too high don't want to go over the sentiment so that one there can come down a little bit so I've got that little gap there and then the last three I've popped them on this piece here so you can have it when it's open because that's when they're going to see it so I want to pop that one just so it sort of overlaps the top there. So I'll just do a little bit of glue. And these two here. So once again, just keeping in mind where the um, sentiment is. And as long as you're not going further than that, where it's going to fold so that it will um, close properly. And then while I'm just doing this last bit here, I'll just add these rhinestones. So I've just popped the little, the small ones just in the centre of each flower. Just take that so you can see a little bit there. And then I've added a large one down here and large one up there and one more small one here. So just whatever, however you want to decorate that. And then the last thing we're going to do is the belly band. So we've got our piece and I found I find the best way to do this is cut your length and then just pop it on pop pop your cardstock down and then fold it where you want and then um, using your scoring tool is then just go down there bend it over and then do the same thing bend it over and so that um, it's going to fit and then just make sure that it will easily slide over. And so what you're going to do then, just have to think things through, is 
adhere that. So once again, see how much it covers it. So otherwise, if you don't want to do that, tear and tape's just as easy. Let's find the end. And just pop it on there. Rip it. Take that off and pop that down. And then we've got a piece of this um, DSP, the one with the teapot on the back. And I've just made that slightly smaller than that piece as well. And then it's almost easier to work with that on there. And just pop that. that in there and I've got this gorgeous metallic ribbon which is metallic woven ribbon ribbon in the um, orchid oasis and I've got two strips of that because it's quite thin I wanted to make a bit of a, a, a fuller bow and then I've just put some white baker's twine in break the colour a little bit. I've got a knot in there, I'll just get that out. So I just want to line all those pieces up there, the ends, wrap it around the ends in. A nice big bow. And then, if you've sort of got it, if you're happy with it, and you can just pull it to whatever side you'd, you'd prefer. And trimming it, trim it. Um, to be even if you want it even and roughly the same length and then we're going to add the um, happy birthday and this is from the biggest, biggest wish stamp set so I'm going to put happy in the Orchid Oasis and Birthday in Starry Sky. So I'll just pop this happy up sort of towards the left hand top. And then Birthday in Starry Sky. I'm just going to line that up. Here. It's a good thing about the um, photopolymer stamps, you can see where you're stamping, so it's easier to cut your bit of cardstock than cut it down later. So we're just going to add um, dimensionals just to the top and the bottom of there. Um, Some half ones along the top. Oops. I just want to avoid the ribbon and twine. Now I just want to tuck that in there. And then lastly, we want to add in the, the last flower. And you can either glue that straight on, which is probably a good idea because it is starting to get quite quite bulky and 
and one more oh three more little rhinestones but we'll pop another one in the center and two more down here just to balance it out and that is the card completed so um apart from making sure your measurements are accurate um, once you've got them all ready it's really easy um, to assemble so thanks very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this and yes if you'd like all the measurements are available in the link below um, for purchase thanks again bye for now